Thanks, guys, for coming over. That's what we're here for. We should have gone over to Rick's house and bashed in his windshield. Pam, do you really think that's what Kelly needs right now? Revenge? She needs to just move on. That's why we're here. You would suggest move on. You're usually the other woman. Oh, shut up. Just because I'm prettier than you and men are more interested in me than you does not mean you have to be jealous. Jealous? I'm not calling you the pretty one. I'm calling you the slut. And what are you? Can you two stop? We're here for Kelly. Alice is right. I'm done. And now you side with Alice? Where were you when her boyfriend was cheating on her? Oh, that's right. Under him. Pam! Enough! Didn't you guys say that tonight was about me and getting over Rick and having a little fun, so let's have a little fun. All right. Sorry. Me too. Sorry, Alice. We're all sorry. Now what? Now we get wasted. <laughs> I'll go make us drinks. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> mm, we should play Never Have I Ever. Oh, that's a stupid game. Uh, besides, we pretty much know everything about each other. <laughs> and you'd be drinking to just about everything said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what we should do? Tell scary stories. Mm. As long as Pam isn't telling any. What's wrong with me telling scary stories? The scary stories you tell will probably be real. Oh, what's the matter? Afraid of hearing about a bloody crack whore in a dark alley? I doubt there are too many bloody crack whores in dark alleys while Pam is on traffic patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Pick on Pam Day. <laughs> How often do you get to make fun of a cop? Excuse me, that my job means I get to carry a gun and have power. Oh, carry a gun and have power? More like a flashlight and a ticket book. <laughs> <laughs> at least I have a job. Well, don't look at me, I have a job. <laughs> Coming a sugar daddy doesn't count as a job. Oh, oh bite me. I was referring to Isabel. Me? Mm-hmm. How long did you last at that restaurant? It interfered with my class schedule. You can't make fun of her for getting her graduate degree. Yes, we can. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell a really scary story about my former neighbor. Ooh, the neighbor that used to peek through your window while you were getting dressed? No. <laughs> this is about old Mr. Morton. Mr. Morton was a mechanic, and he, everyone thought he was very nice. Little did they know, he had a dark secret. Excuse me, Mr. Morton. Oh, hi, Rose. How are you today? I'm good. Except my car is making a weird noise. Do you think you could take a look at it? Oh, sure, sure. I'll make certain you don't hear that noise anymore. Thank you. Hey, Morton. It's Morton. Yeah, whatever. I got this package here for you from the snacks vendor. It was delivered to my store instead of here. You really need to make sure you put the right address on your deliveries. Um, could you bring them to my back office for me? Wouldn't you rather it here? It's the snack foods. Um, I, I keep my storage in the back until I'm ready to put it on the shelves. Look, can I just leave it with you or leave it here? Um, if it's no great trouble, bringing it to my back office would be of great help. All right, fine. Whatever. Hello, Mother. Francis, what are you drinking? Uh, nothing. I've told you, you need to limit your sugar intake. Does that juice contain sugar? Uh, no, Mother. How do you know? Did you read the ingredients thoroughly? 
Um, no, Mother. Then how do you know? Where's the container? Um, it, it's in the back office, Mother. Did you clean that off yet? You always were such a bad child. Never cleaning up after yourself. Yes, Mother. I did clean it. That's why there's no blood on it. Are you talking back to me? If you use that fresh tongue with me, I will remove it from your mouth. I brought you into this world, and it is my right to take you out of it if you get smart with me. Yes, Mother. I am sorry. Oh, this is very sugary. That man ate way too much candy. I guess his mother didn't tell him it. too much candy could kill him. a little more satisfying than what I do. <laughs> I'm so glad you come to dinner. I hate eating alone. <laughs> I'm going to take your gag off, but you must promise me that you're not going to scream. Can you do that? Because if you scream, well, let's, let's just hope you don't scream. Uh, please, Mr. Morton, just let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. Oh, I know you won't, Sierra. I mean, what would you tell them? Nothing. I, I couldn't tell them anything. I just invited you for dinner. <laughs> you are the dinner. <laughs> Francis, it looks like you made another good meal here. Thank you, Mother. You thought my stories would be sick. <laughs> yeah, but it can't be real though, right? I mean, it's not actually real, right? Is it real? He's right behind you! <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> it's not real though, right? Are you scared? <laughs> Relax, it's just a story. Well, I know it is, but I've been to Alice's house. If her neighbor is some sort of twisted psycho, I want to know about it. <laughs> is it real? Oh my god, no, you scaredy cat. <laughs> it isn't real. <laughs> Mr. Morton was the name of my first grade teacher. I think if my neighbor were a serial killer, um, It'd be in the newspapers or something. And you know how to read, right, Veronica? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Laugh it up. We'll see how funny it is when you're having nightmares about Mr. Morton cutting your body up into soup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That story wasn't anything compared to the one I have. This is a story about a group of five friends just like us. As much fun as that story sounds, I don't think I could stomach any more scary stories right now. Sure you can. Just stick your finger down your throat and throw them up like you do your dinner. Are you calling me bulimic? Really? Seriously? How's that even funny? You're right, I'm kidding. You're not thin enough to be bulimic. <laughs> well, if you want to continue to tell scary stories, I'm going to go downstairs and watch TV. Kelly, do you want to come? Oh, Veronica wants to give you the lesbian experience. So says the dyke. Just because you haven't slept with any of my boyfriends yet. If you want to go watch television, then go. I want to hear Isabel's story that's supposed to be scarier than mine. OK. 
Kelly? I want to hear the scary story. Fine, whatever, have fun. Just let me know when cool time is over. Bad mirrors. I don't know why you guys are friends with her. Oh, please, you're friends with her too? No, I just hang out with her because the rest of you do. I can't stand her. Then why are there sometimes when just the two of you hang out together? Like when? Uh, two weeks ago when the two of you went to the bar and she almost slept with the busboy? I had no one else to hang out with. <laughs> you are just as much friends with her as everyone else in the room is. I just hang out with her out of habit. I mean, that's about it. You are so full of shit right now. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Come on, Isabel. I want to hear your scary story. I want to see if you can top mine. Okay, you got it. So there were a group of five friends hiking in the woods. I can't believe you made us go hiking in the snow and the rain just to see this thing. How much longer until we get there? You really love to complain, don't you? I mean, just enjoy the hike. Enjoy being in the woods. It's way better than being in the city. I wish I were in my bed. God, I'm exhausted. I'd enjoy being in your bed right now, too. Whatever, perv. Get your grubby paws off of me. You said it was a ridge? Yeah. I don't see a ridge. About 10 or so more hours that way. Did you just say 10 hours? I'll grow a pair. 10 hours? I'm not walking 10 hours. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't actually know how far it is. Hey, watch it, you bum. Leave him alone. He's probably homeless. Come on, guys. It's just some smelly homeless loser. Probably doesn't realize he's back from the war yet. <laughs> you guys but I have to take a piss thanks for the narrative that's it's really attractive you're more than welcome to come hold it for me hey Lucy did you bring tweezers to uh, hold it for Pete oh ha ha make your jokes Janine that's why you're always single I kind of have to use the bathroom also it's called a piss we're in the woods there are no bathrooms yes there are any tree I squat behind is a bathroom <laughs> come on let's go with her make sure this guy doesn't try to pee for show. <laughs> oh yeah, because I'm known for watching girls pee, right? I don't know what floats your boat. Well, <laughs> you caught me. That's my fetish, uh, women peeing and feet. Oh. I'm starting to think that this foot fetish is real. No one said anything about feet. Come on, let's go. I gotta pee. Looks like a good spot. Oh! <gasps> 
Killed him. <laughs> Tom's dead. What are we gonna do? He's probably dead too, right? No, don't say that. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Tom's dead. Pete's probably dead. Shut up, Mary, please. I'm sure he's fine. He probably saw the drifter attack Tom and then ran. I'm sure he's fine. He's probably looking for us right now. He's probably dead right now. Don't say that. <laughs> Holy shit, this can't be happening. Together. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do. We're gonna die. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get help. to get out of this woods. Let's go. If you don't get up and come with me right now, I'm going to leave you. Do you hear me? I'm going to leave you here. Fine. That's your call.
Isn't scary. It scared me. Don't worry, Pam has her gun to protect us. <laughs> Do you actually have your gun with you? Yeah, I've got it hidden in my bra. Wanna see? Are you trying to show us your gun or your boobs? Uh, okay, enough with show and tell. Pam, do you have a scary story? Nah, you can go. I'm, I'm still trying to think of one, so you go. I bet this isn't gonna be scary. I'll bet you 20 bucks my story's so scary you'll wet yourself. You're on. So it was a quiet, rainy night, and a group of girls were telling scary stories when all of a sudden, toxic water shot out. <gasps> what the hell? I smell like alcohol now. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom and clean off. There are towels up in the cabinet if you need them. Thanks. <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> 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 Do you have a story that doesn't include throwing anything on anyone, or should I go? Kelly, maybe you should go. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, um, not too long ago, in a place you both may have been, there was a seemingly happy couple. Hey, Rick, we should go out tonight. Oh, yeah, sweetheart? Where do you want to go? I was thinking we could go to that new Thai restaurant or that lounge that just opened up. So, you either want to go to an expensive restaurant so you can make me feel broke and that I can't afford the prices, Go to a bar so you could get hit on by a bunch of guys? Oh, come on, no one's gonna hit on me if I'm with you. I just, I thought it would be nice to go out for a change. <laughs> oh, so staying in with me isn't good enough for you now. Am I not good enough for you? 
I wasn't saying that. No, 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 no. What you were saying is that you'd rather go to a bar and get hit on by a bunch of guys. I mean, you trying to replace me? Is that it? No, that's crazy. <laughs> so now I'm crazy. I can't take this shit with you. I'm going home, all right? Rick, please stay. <laughs> now you want me. Too late. I'm going home. Hey, uh, you're not holding my hand the way you normally do. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Do you want me to adjust it? Were you holding another guy's hand? Is that why you're holding my hand all differently? What are you talking about? No, I wasn't, I wasn't holding another guy's hand. So you were holding something else on another guy? Baby, I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Rick, I love you. I would never cheat on you. You better not. Because if you ever did, i kill the both of you. And then myself. <laughs> How can you say you don't want to be with me anymore? Look, I love you. I just... This isn't the first time you cheated on me. I can't do this anymore. I said I was sorry. I mean, don't you love me enough to forgive me? Come on, baby, give me another chance. No, I've given you multiple chances. I'm done. That's it. You're gonna regret this. Trust me. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret this. That wasn't a scary story. Well, it was a little scary, but not the type of scary we meant. True stories are usually the scariest ones. So I'll finish it for you. The crazy boyfriend snuck into the house where the girl and her friends were. I killed them all! What was that? <gasps> See, I told scary stories. Yeah, not very funny ones, though. It's probably just Veronica watching TV. We should go check on her. Why? She's fine. I don't think it was Veronica I heard. Come on, let's just go downstairs and see what she's doing. How about another story? I think I'm storied out for now. Yeah, me too. Let's go check on Veronica. Veronica, where are you? Could she be watching TV in a different room? <laughs> like in the bedroom of the high school boy who lives next door? <sighs> Unless she went upstairs, I don't know where she could be watching TV. Veronica! How are you holding up? I'm okay. I guess. <laughs> We're here. Talk to us. Uh, I know Rick wasn't perfect. Our relationship sure wasn't perfect. But he meant well. He loved me. He just couldn't keep it in his pants. Well, yeah. Oh. But he was there for me. He would do anything for me. He didn't treat you well. Mm -mm. I know. He was an asshole. You told me some of the shit he did. I guess I was just so used to having him around. You know, it's kind of weird being broken up. I almost forget he isn't with me. You are better off without him. Unless you enjoy having a boyfriend who sleeps with everyone else. No. See, you are better off without him. <laughs> He was just so sweet sometimes, and then at other times he was insanely possessive. He didn't even like me having friends. It was jealousy and fear. He didn't want anyone to help you realize what a dick he was. I think it was pretty easy to figure that one out without anyone else's help. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I could get through this without you guys. Mm. That's what we're here for. <laughs> that and the drink your liquor. Oh, well, at least you're honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, I know. And besides, Alice brought the liquor. She should have kept it away from Pam, though. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> Actually, since you don't have a drink in your hand to throw at us, I am kind of curious to hear that scary story you had in mind. Okay. 
<clears throat> it's a story about two co-workers on a first date. Roland had finally worked up the nerve to ask out Charlie, who he'd been obsessing over for quite some time. I'm glad you can make it. Me too. Come in. Thank you. Sure. Have a seat. I'm just going to draw this inside. Everything all right? Oh, you expecting someone? Yes. You. Wine? No, thank you. You are a beautiful woman. You know that? Every day I pass by your cubicle three, four times. The attention hasn't gone unnoticed. Good. So... You wanted to talk to me about something? My daughter. Oh, I'm so sorry, I heard. Is there anything I could do? It depends. The last time that anybody saw her, she was near our office, and I know that, I know that you usually work pretty late, so I was wondering if, if you were there on Monday night, and perhaps maybe you might have seen her, or you might have seen something suspicious. Neighbors. Excuse me for a minute. Please keep it down. You're being extremely rude. I'm trying to have a good evening.
be a good girl. Nothing's gonna happen to you. She loves me. We're gonna have a good time. Keep it down! Don't be rude! I hate rude people! So sorry about that. Is everything okay? Yeah, you know how it is. They kick once, you kick back twice as harder. And shut them up. So what did you ask me? My daughter is my heart and soul, and since she's been missing, it's like my heart and my soul have been taken from me, ripped from my body. It is an unbearable heartache that no one should have to bear, and I would do absolutely anything to get her back safe, to have her in my arms one more time, to tell her that mommy loves you. I understand. I'll do anything to help you. Why? Because I care about you. What's this? A locket. Look at it. I want you to see how much love I have for my daughter. And she was 12. God, she was so excited. That was the first birthday present she ever got me with her own money. And when I opened it up, the smile on her face, it just, it, I almost melted. It's beautiful, just like you. It's not just a locket. She always wanted us to be together, so she bought a matching set. And she wore it all the time. Uh, Ch Ch Charlie, I, I don't know what you're thinking. Ch Ch I said, whoa, but then I can explain. Stop, stop. I swore I would never let anyone hurt my little girl. Baby? Mommy loves you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, oh. baby. Oh, 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 Harry. Oh, oh baby. Oh. It's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Okay. And then she untied her. Oh my god. That was crazy. I knew your story was going to be some crazy story from the job. I I'm going to have nightmares about it. Is that a case you worked? Oh, it's just something I saw on TV last week. Uh, what? You had me thinking that that whole thing actually happened. No, I just said it was a story. Never said it was true. Uh, wow. <laughs> hey, it's your fault for not realizing it's just a story. Uh, okay, well, you got me on that one. <laughs> Anyone else have a scary story? I have a story about a friend whose name I won't mention and her 21st birthday. Okay, you're done. Isabel, you have one? No, 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 no. I want to hear about this 21st birthday. Come on, please let me tell her. This is the problem with being friends with someone for too long. Oh, uh, no, this is the problem with drinking too much on your 21st uh, birthday. I want to hear about this one already. <laughs> no, it's too embarrassing. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> tell her. But all your embarrassing stories are fair game then. Fine. Okay. So, it's Pam's 21st birthday, and a bunch of us decide to go to a bar to celebrate. Okay. So, it's Pam's 21st birthday, and she's never drank before. Yes, I had. No, you didn't even know what the drinks were called. Just because I didn't know what the drinks were called doesn't mean I never drank before. Uh, okay, regardless, um, so she's ordering drink after drink just because she likes their names. She gets so drunk, I don't even think she knew what she was drinking. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear where this is going. I'll cut to the chase. I had a Veronica moment at the bar. So? No! <laughs> no, like, at the bar. Not in the bathroom, not anywhere else. At the end of the night, we were trying to figure out where her shirt was. <laughs> and the guy was a complete creeper. <laughs> I can't even picture you doing that. And she can't, but uh, she can't even remember doing I it. I still think you guys made the whole thing up. Oh, yeah. We all thought it would be funny to make up that you got out of control drunk. Well, I learned my lesson. I never got like that again. Yes, this is true. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. 
really? Are you really trying to scare us right now? I'm being serious. I really thought I heard something. Veronica, if you think you're gonna scare us, you're dead wrong. Let's just go back upstairs. Uh, no, I wanna figure out where she is. I don't know what she could be doing in my house. If there were any guys here, we'd know who she'd be doing. <sighs> okay, be nice. So why don't you check the attic and you go check the bedroom? Why do I have to check the attic? Because you're the cop. You're not supposed to be afraid of anything. I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm just asking. Sure you're not afraid of anything, super cop. Bite me, bitch. She was. Then again, I guess I'm up here. Maybe I'm the stupid one. Make yourself crazy. about something bad happened what? what happened did you find veronica i found alice where <laughs> are you sure that's hers it's the shirt she was wearing then where is she i don't know but that's a lot of blood could it god don't even say it i was gonna say could it be that she cut herself oh if that were the case, then where is she? Well, I don't see your body. But that is a lot of blood. Oh God, I think we're in trouble. I think Rick's here and he's pissed. Why would Rick kill Alice? So you agree Alice is dead? I don't see her body. But that is a lot of blood. Okay, let's just think about this logically for a minute. We don't know if it was Rick, and we don't know if Alice is dead. How many other crazy psychos do you know? Kelly broke up with Rick because he was abusive, and not just verbally. I know. But do you really think he'd kill all of us because of it? So you think it's possible he's gonna kill all of us? Oh, oh my god, what are we calm, gonna do? Calm down. <laughs> Okay, I never said it was Rick, and I never said he was gonna kill all of us. Then who is it? <laughs> You're a sick fuck, you know that? <laughs> Please, you can just let me go. I won't say anything, I promise. Just, you can let me go. No one will know. Just please. Ah! <laughs> 
Conversation's getting us nowhere. <laughs> then what do you suggest we do? Mm. Let's try to find Kelly and Veronica. We'll show them what we found and then try to figure out what happened to Alice. <laughs> Rick's gonna kill us. Come on. Phones. What? Our cell phones. Let's go downstairs and get them. Then we can call for help.
Where the heck are our phones? I know I left mine sitting out. So did I. Someone must have taken them. Oh, what are we gonna do? Stay calm. <laughs> did you bring your gun with you? No, I left it at home. Uh, are you supposed to have it with you all the time? I didn't think I would need it tonight. Well, you do! All right, there's gotta be something else in the house that we can use, just in case. <sighs> the kitchen. A knife. We can get a knife. Just kill him. We should find out why he's doing this, or at least who he is. We should figure out where everyone else is and see if they know who he is. Or we can just ask him. so concerned about who I am. But do you really know who your friends are? This is bullshit. We should just kill him. <sighs> Why are you doing this? Maybe I'm not the one with the motivation. What? He's screwing with your head. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm screwing with your head. It makes sense that I would screw with your head. But ask yourself, why would I pick you? What do you mean? He's just screwing with you. I don't think she wants me to talk. I wonder why that is. Shut up! Person is someone you thought was your friend. Someone you think is your friend. Who is it? Isabel. He's messing with your head. Stop talking to him. Hmm. Think about it. This is bullshit. Don't listen to anything he says. Go to the kitchen and get a knife. We're gonna get some answers from him. Go!
Alice, there you are. Are you okay? Um, I'm not sure. Isabel and I were worried we found your shirt with blood on it. Oh, I cut myself when he attacked me. I managed to escape and have been hiding. We were looking for you and Veronica. Veronica's hiding with me. She twisted her ankles so she can't walk. Come on, I'll take you to her. Okay. She's in here. We've been hiding in the bathroom. Isabel. Oh, shit. Welcome back, princess. Oh, don't look so shocked. I could only take so much of all your shit for so long. Why? Let me think. Oh, I know. When Veronica was fucking my boyfriend and all of you knew. What were we supposed to do? You must not know what friendship is. Not letting your friend know when her boyfriend is sleeping with a slut behind her back. That isn't a friend. We should have told you, but we didn't want to hurt you. You didn't want to hurt me. That is so sweet. It did hurt me. More than just being cheated on. More than just being betrayed by Veronica. Because all of my friends betrayed me. And now, I'm going to hurt you all. Oops! I already killed Veronica, Isabel, and Kelly. Now it's just you I want to hurt. And where does Mr. Charming here fit into the picture? Someone wants me to do all the detective work for her. Maybe I should bring her to the other room. And work her over a little. What do you mean? You know, just have a little bit of fun with her. Hey, Alice. When he was tied up, we kissed. Shut up. He told me I'm going to kiss her than you. I said shut up! He went cop to feel, too. <laughs> More than I said shut up! She. I can't find her. If she gets away, we are finished. Do you understand we me? We will find her. We better find her. crazy just really pissed off why can't you make my life easier and just die like you're supposed to no!
hurts. It hurts badly. Everyone is going to think you and Pam killed the villain. I was just the lone survivor of this nightmare. Terrified and traumatized. But all have sympathies for me. Uh-huh. I need a doctor. You don't need a doctor. Are you just gonna let her keep laughing at you like everyone else does? What are you gonna do about it? Hello, hello, what beautiful, beautiful brown eyes you have. <laughs> the better to watch yourself die with, huh? Yes. You know, they make a nice little keepsake, would not they? Would I be able to keep them? You mind? Of course you don't mind. And who cares, because I can pluck them out. I'll pluck them out of your pretty little head, won't I? <laughs> Could I ask you a question? Now that I have your undivided attention? What is it? Why is it that girls like you always ignore men like me? Why is it? What do you have a club? You have a club and you hate us, don't you? No. You hate us. No. You, you do, you do. I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're going to die anyway. In fact, I'd like to see what you're made of. Let's see what you're made of, huh? Uh, let's see exactly what's inside you. Yeah, let's see what's inside you. Let's, uh, yes, inside you! <laughs> it's enough out of you. Thank you. Thank you, Roy.